don't uh i like i've never i've never done drugs so i don't even i can't even dive into the minds of someone that needs it but i think that um it might come from like or it might stem from people just getting into weak moments and then just sort of yeah. surrendering to you know the various drugs that are out there i kind of go through my weak moments and sort of like like talk myself or build myself out of it um when i'm at my low points and i think that it's harder that way i think drugs make make it easier to cope with the fucked up shit that you go through in life or else why would people be doing them some of us um especially me kind of just get fucked up by the world and then have to fight my way back and that is more difficult and it's hard Harder, but it's my process i don't enjoy it all the time but it makes you stronger at the end of the day and it doesn't deteriorate your internal organs so that you're you know meeting the early demise from like you know what would seem like natural causes or something had you had there any, ever been any points where you were into drugs or anything like that Just nah i smoke weed i drink alcohol i don't abuse either yeah. um and i'm never like 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 i could stop doing either and whenever i want and never do never do them again like yeah. that's how <clears throat> self and self-control i am i just thought about this when i was in like high school there was a clip of you we have a guy steve will do it who does this man too. you're in middle school bro <laughs> Yo, you say you bully, you say, wait, you, you, say you bully the bullies, Yo, but it seems like you bully the weak, bro. I'm calling cap with everything you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, so tell, tell the story, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, just saying, you said you bully the bullies, but you bully the weak. School, you, you bully the weak, you bully the weak. Um, anyway, <laughs> there's a clip of you where you go on stage and you take a Grey Goose bottle and you slam the whole thing. Remember that? Yeah. How many times do you think you did that? Shit. Like, Wait, the whole fucking box of course of on stage, bro, like some and Steve will do people walking shit? up to him and they're saying, yo, bro, no more. And he slams the whole fucking thing. Hey, yo, you know what's crazy? Let, me, bottle. Tell you, let me tell you You're something. You're the first guy I ever saw do that. I've done that like 50 times in my life. And, but look, the last time that? I did it, yeah. the last, yo, the last time I did it was on, drink. you familiar with Drink Champs? Yeah. Last time I did it was on Drink Champs. And ever since I did that, ASAP Rocky's been on and I think Joel Santana's been on and they asked Nori like well damn what was up with game um doing the uh, you know drinking that whole bottle of Classe Azul and he keeps saying like he brought his own bottle um like I didn't do it or something or like kind of trying to play oh me. he said it was fake no nah, nah, he nah, did that it, shit it, no he didn't say it was fake but I kind of feel like the vodka, he then put the water in nah, I, I brought the bottle in the box with the wrapping on it and unwrapped it on the show Great goose. Yeah. you know what I'm saying but it's like if you got it like we can all go in but we gonna need like four of them shits Dang, yeah, what made you want to do that? Just like a flex or like... I think... Oh, yeah. Oh, my one. God. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Yo. Wait, why Why? Why do you want to do it? Just to I try it? I didn't fucking want to do it. But you I did it. did it. Yeah. Damn. How many times you did? Not you that. Do I don't do that. Yeah. Like, you want to grow, but you just won't do it. Like a you big, just can't get it. Yeah, make it happen. Getting chair yeah, I know. It's like, bro, I'm a big fan. Not, not anymore. Hey, yeah. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> it's all it's good. like a salty hater. Fucking you hater. How do you deal with hate? Uh, I just kind of just don't give a it. But you know, hate <laughs> is the hate is the the yeah. darkest the darkest love that you can ever receive. Yeah, oh yeah. Like for someone to hate you, they have to know more about you than normal person. Yeah, that just just gives you genuine love. You know. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't make any other sense. Like if someone didn't have like a, a decision against you, I mean, they have to be something that they're also like interested in at the same time. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I saw on the drink champ shit too. You were upset about the Super Bowl shit. Uh, I, I, I was sort of like I sort of felt a way about it. I wouldn't say like upset to where like a point of no return. But you but felt I, like you should have been included in that. I moment. definitely should have should have been included. But um, at this point today, like I mean, you know, it's water under the bridge. I ain't really tripping. I just thought I I just know if it was me, I was more upset because I know if it was me, I would have did like what was supposed to be done. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like that was an opportunity where uh, Dre really, you know, had you know. He could have done what he what was right. What did you feel like was right? What should have been done? I mean, it was it what was not right was to leave an LA staple out of an LA Super Bowl when an LA team is in the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like if it's a Detroit Super Bowl, like we wouldn't see LA people on it. They would have Detroit artists. If it was a New York Super Bowl, you would have saw Jay-Z and Alicia Keys and, you know, a bunch of New York artists. But in LA, not saying that they couldn't have brought like Mary J or M or any or 50 to the Super Bowl. I'm just saying like, don't leave out like the people who really pounded the pavement for like LA hip hop. Um, and so that was my only thing. Did Why do you think they left you out though? Huh? Why do you think they left you out? Oh, because I'm like, I don't know, I'm an asshole sometimes. And like, or like, uh, I'm not a safe artist is what I like to say. Like yeah. everybody up there was sort of like a uh, safe artist. Like 50 is dove in the TV. Of course, you know, like Kendrick is not controversial. He's like, dope and yeah, like sort of in his lane um m is like a veteran mc and like eminem you know what i'm saying um and then snoop is 
Martin Stewart's home. Yeah, he yeah, So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like Snoop is everywhere and he's an iconic. And then uh who else? And then 50, um, I don't think Eminem would have did it unless 50 was in, was on it. So So you think that's why 50 was there? 50 was there. Yeah, I, I think that like if if Dre didn't bring 50, M probably wouldn't have done it. But that speaks on M's loyalty to his people and to 50. I think that I think that was dope. Yeah. It's like I don't walk in a club unless they let everybody that's with me in first. Because if I walk in and I go to my section, then they're like, you know, you know, they'll leave people outside. Yeah. So I make sure that I stay at the front door to like all my people were in. So I get what Eminem, uh, you know, hypothetically did there. So you like, you don't have a good relationship with those guys no more, really? I don't. I mean, I never really had like a relationship with them. It's kind of just like we're signed to the same label and like we like we we get along for the most part. But I don't like break peanut butter and jelly sandwiches mm-hmm. like in half with these niggas.